Hey everyone, this is Kramon and welcome back to another Summoner's War Guild Battle Wheel series. Hopefully we get some easy openings for today and we'll be able to do some fun in it. <laughs> so yeah, um, another thing I would like to mention is that I will be casting the Summoner's War Southeast Asia fan page Special League 20 Star Tournament which will be held on the 22nd and 23rd July which is tomorrow. And the day after, 8pm SGT on the Summoner's War Facebook page. So if you're free then, please do drop by and watch that awesome tournament hosted by Contours, alright? So before we begin, I would like to show you guys something awesome as well. Did you know you can get up to 45% discount on the new legendary packs every day worldwide with App Gallery? The Android App Store launched by Huawei has the best prices for Summoner's War players. For the first offer, every day you'll be able to claim a set of 3 coupons including a 20% off coupon for the largest pack. Secondly, you'll also get a rebate of at least 20% in Huawei points which goes up to 25% if you spend 200 euros or equivalent and 45% if you buy a lot of packs and want to join their free VIP program. See their Discord for more details, alright? One Huawei point is worth one of whichever currency you use to make the purchase. So if you bought a 100 euro pack, you get from 20 up to 45 euros rebate to spend on any in-game purchases. Lastly, Huawei App Gallery will also be giving away 3 sets of 10 Huawei points and a guaranteed Summoner's War Funko Pop figurine of your choice for the VIP players. To participate in this campaign, please follow the steps in the Summoner's War Discord server down in the description below. Ensure that you set your country in the App Gallery settings to the UK, Ireland or New Zealand to participate. It works wherever you're based. Personally, I recommend New Zealand as it has the best currency price, alright? If you have any questions or just want to flex your summons, please drop a message in the Summoner's War channels or to the channel admin himself. If you also purchase a lot of packs in Summoner's War, message the admin as well for bonus rewards and an invite to get an extra VIP rebate. So thank you once again to Huawei App Gallery for sponsoring this video and let's head right back to our guild battle. Today we are fighting Beer Club, so they are one of the top 20 guilds in Asia server as well. And we are seeing this very interesting defense coming out from the best plus 3. So let's just go ahead with our Wheel of Fortune. Hopefully we get some good shit here. Okay, for our first fight, only Violent Rune monsters. That's pretty nice. However, second one... Ah, how are we gonna use net trees to fight that? Ophelia Iris. Huh. Okay, never mind. Let's focus on getting our first win against the Galleon, Clara, and Sienna. So the Dark Beast Rider. We are just gonna forget about outspeeding this team because we only can use Violent Rune monsters, right? So uh, Feng Yan, Perna, and Lulu, I, I feel like we are pretty tanky. And then we should be able to sustain like the damage output coming up from that Sienna, hopefully. <laughs> and yeah, I'm banking on Lulu's resistance as well. Second team, I feel like we just run the Shren, Miho, and Fren. So Fren can provide like attack buff and immunity. I'm not too sure whether it's actually okay because Iris is just gonna strip us and stuns all the time. So yeah, uh, let's see, let's see. Double stuns, that's not good. Armor breaks my finger as well. Thankfully, thankfully the Sienna went for my Perna. So we got two lives, we are gonna remove the armor break on our finger. And we have to kill off this Sienna ASAP. Come on, big crit! Perna, man! I really feel like deruining Perna at this point. He's just not critting as usual, you know? Shit, down to the last hit. We failed to crit again, what the fuck? <laughs> Perna is dead? Shit, can we kill off this Sienna? The stun onto my Fingyan. Now his armor break landed onto Lulu. We don't get a proc, this has to kill- oh my god, thankfully, thankfully. Because I think if that didn't kill earlier, uh, my Lulu would have been dead. And I'm not too sure whether actually Fingyan wins 
the Galleon and Clara 2v1 because of all these stuns and armor breaks sometimes, you know. Things will look really bad for him. 1v2. So we are just gonna cleanse the armor breaks away. Yep. We can't afford to let that happen. And I, I feel like we just work on Togalian because we seem to not land our armor breaks onto the Clara. So already down to the last hit, we'll heal up. We do have a cleanse, right? That's right. And yep, I, I think this Galleon will be the stun. <laughs> Galleon surviving for one more turn. But yeah, like I said, I feel like the Galleon would have been dead there. And we should be able to see this one true. Does this Clara no damage? Just 600 per hit onto our Fingyan, which should be fine. The next one is gonna be very interesting though. <laughs> okay, Vigo goes first. The stun right off the bat onto my Miho, that's not good. Additional proc, we can't really use our Tectonic Shift because that Ophila has that threat state up. She moved two turns but able to place the third skill twice. We are not getting any counter stuns as well coming up from Miho. Can we break that shield? Okay. Alright, next turn we do have the Fairy's Blessing. I want to see how much our Tectonic Shift will do. 28k only? With attack buff? <laughs> oh shit! It seems to me like we need to aim the Iris then. We can't kill anything! Yo! Too much heals coming out from the Iris and Vigor, man. And now this threat state is up once again. We have to work on to the Ophelia. Let's cleanse our Miho here. Oh my god, that armor break ain't good. Friend, I think, is dead here, man. Three turns armor break. Can we get one proc? <sighs> yeah, we can't do anything because of the threat state and with all those anti-crits and stuff. <laughs> um, maybe, maybe running like a copper bulldozer here would be great. But sometimes, you know, um, if if we are pretty slow, I, I'm not too sure whether uh, my bulldozer can actually one-shot an Ophelia. Sometimes it could, but if they have like very high um, damage reduction coming out from the artifacts on fire, then it could be really tough to actually bulldoze it. But it seems to me like earlier 28k, the Ophelia was around like Slightly less than half HP, right? If I recall correctly. So Bulldozer would be coming in really close. That triple stun as well. I don't know who to hit actually. And it seems like my Miho might die here. I... Yeah, we'll just leave. <laughs> well, at least we got a draw. Uh, we'll take that because honestly, it's like really hard to use the Wheel of Fortune against like all this kind of stuff, you know? It's not like the budget kind of defenses we are seeing. It's all premium shit. Everything has LDs. So earlier we saw the Sienna, this time Gianna and Rahul. Oh my god, if the Wheel of Fortune gave us like some stupid... <laughs> some stupid requirement we are kind of done for. Alright, so we're saying no human monster for our first fight. Passive monster only against against the Jin Rahul. Okay, we are not backing down from a fight. Let's go, let's go. Boom. I, I'm just gonna save you guys time and uh, cut to the chase, right? When I'm picking my units because sometimes I take like 2 to 3 minutes. <laughs> Alright, so this one, Takano Gianna Savannah. Yeah, we are gonna take the risk and try to burst down this Savannah ASAP. Yo, that Gianna actually cut in between. The pushback! <laughs> <laughs> oh 
Yo, this didn't work. If my train goes crazy here, we might have a chance. Ah, oh, never mind. No additional prop. Satch. Okay, never mind. We'll move on to the next. That was a really fast one. So for the second fight, I'm opting for the Fingyan, Tessarion, and Masha. So all passive. However, the stun onto my Masha, not too good. But we got additional proc. Ah, oh, we have to kill off the gene first, you know? Come on, armor break! Nice! Yeah, we're gonna go for the gene. Tessarion. Okay, the dots kill. 2v3. With the hug onto Perna, we are gonna aim the Rahul first. We need our Calm Mind, man. The stun onto my Tessarion, that's not too good. We do have the cleanse. We'll place it. Nice additional prop. Rahul is dead. I think we got this one. So... Perna 1v3. At most, my Fingyan dies. Oh, nice, ob nice Oblivion. And then, yeah, Masha will be able to finish off this one. So we got another draw here. However, the first team is honestly really hard to deal with because it's the Gianna Savannah Kakano, the legit um, siege defense, top tier defense. And usually the only way I deal around that is like Tiana Bill. So for our last fight, we have to mirror our first opponent team. Only male units. So mirroring and only male units. Which is nice, alright. Vigor, Kaki, Triana. We'll see who has the better runes. Um, usually whenever I face this in Siege as well, back in the day, I always mirror it. I don't know why. I, I feel like I'm always very confident with my Vigor, Triana, Kaki lineup. Uh, I use them almost everywhere and <laughs> usually they still uh, get me the win, right? So for the second fight, Kakano, Molly, and Savannah. What should we do? Yeah, we can place the Bison. Uh, Bison, Lycra, and... Tessarion? Yeah, at most my Tessarion dies to Savannah. We try to kill her off ASAP. And hopefully things will work out fine after that. So yeah, let's just focus on this one. Uh, we have to kill off the Kaki first because that is the most important uh, you need to bring down. It is the only soul damage dealer usually when you're running this kind of lineup. So another round of immunity. We can't really do anything here. We just do some poke damage on it. Um, okay, nice sleep. Yeah, we'll place the heal because our Triana might die. However, additional proc from the opponent's Triana. Okay, can we crit? Nice, we proc the passive. I think this should kill. Alright, awesome. I think from here... I don't see any way for them to win. Big crit and a sleep. However, additional prop, never mind. <laughs> oh my god, this Vigor is actually hurting our Kaki quite a lot. Uh, we'll just focus on him then. Nice, additional procs. However, we failed to land armor breaks in 6 hits. So very unfortunate. We'll go for the heal once again. Come on. 9k. Can we like prop the passive? No crit. The heal comes back up online onto the Vigor. So another round of heals. The Predators cry. I think our Kaki should be able to prop the passive here. And we should be able to kill. Aye. Nice, nice. Alright. Moving on to the next one. I think that one will be pretty interesting, right? I've never really used Tiomas for a very good few months <laughs> so I'm not too sure whether we can actually win this one let's just work on to the savannah armor break no additional prop yeah let's just dismount it mm -hmm. okay this should kill right 
Yeah, we have to go for the Carcano. Let's slowly work on him. So my Tiamat is dead. Because Carcano's uh, passive, the armor break is random. But he should always be attacking my Laika, right? Huh? Oh, wait, wait. There was a Provoke earlier, right? I think. No Provoke, what? Why did he hit my Bison? <laughs> hmm. Very interesting. Never mind, we'll just finish him off. And 2v1. Oh my god, this Molly is actually hurting us a lot. We need to we need to destroy the health ASAP before our bison dies. Come on! We are not doing too much. Destroy on it. Huh. Okay, soon about 50%. But I need it around 60, that will be optimal. So yeah, I think it's about 50 now. We didn't get the provoke, but we do have the justice. Boom! <laughs> yeah, Bison. Always very good against Molly teams. And so sometimes I really love to play him. Just that in our current sieges so far, I didn't have the chance to actually use it just yet. So hopefully in the near future, alright? I really do hope that you enjoyed this one, guys. Please make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And like this video as well. Once again, thank you to Huawei App Gallery for sponsoring this video. Take care and see you guys soon. Peace out.